Hi, I'm Alex from Ratings.com. Today, we'll be doing a review of the Dell S2722QC. We'll be evaluating it on our standardized test bench to see how it performs and if you should buy it. The Dell S2722QC is a new model in Dell's S-Series lineup, and it's a 2022 model. It's one of their three 4K monitors in the lineup, sitting alongside the S2721QS and the S2721Q, which are both 2021 models. The differences between them are their features and their stand. The S2722QC has a USB-C port, which the other two monitors don't have, and we'll talk about that later in the video. The S2722QC also has an adjustable stand, like the S2721QS, while the S2721Q has a fixed stand. The S2722QC has a basic 60Hz refresh rate, and like most monitors, it has an IPS panel. It's only available in a 27-inch screen size too. The S2722QC is a pretty basic looking monitor with an office-friendly design. It looks like many of Dell's other monitors with a metal stand and plastic on the back. It also has thin bezels that make it easy to place in a multi-monitor setup, and it doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk. The metal stand supports the screen well, and even though there's a bit of wobble, it's not a big issue. The base of the stand is flat, so you can still put stuff on top if you need. The stand also offers very good ergonomic adjustments, as you can swivel and tilt it, change the height position, or rotate it if you want to use it as a vertical monitor. Looking at the inputs, it's a unique monitor because it has two HDMI ports, but unlike most monitors, it doesn't have a DisplayPort input. Instead, it has a USB-C input that supports DisplayPort Alt mode. You can connect a compatible laptop through a USB-C connection and display an image from it and charge it at the same time. It supports 65 watt of power delivery, which is enough to charge most work laptops or prolong the battery life of heavy duty laptops. There are also two USB 3.0 ports to charge devices or connect your keyboard and mouse, and one of them is conveniently placed underneath the left side of the screen. Lastly, if you're going to have all kinds of wires going to the inputs, there's a cutout in the stand for cable management to keep your setup clean. Now, let's take a look at the tests. We'll start with the contrast. A high contrast ratio is important if you use the monitor in the dark for deep, dark scenes. Sadly, like most monitors, it has an IPS panel with a low contrast ratio. Without a local dimming feature, blacks look gray in the dark. Now, a high peak brightness is important either in a bright room to counteract glare, or if you want brighter highlights and a more impactful image, especially with HDR content. The S2722QC has great peak brightness, and glare won't be an issue in most bright rooms. It maintains its brightness consistently across different scenes, which is great. It gets brighter in HDR than in SDR, but sadly it's not enough to deliver a truly impactful HDR experience. Also important for a bright room is good reflection handling. The screen has a matte finish and the reflection handling is good. It absorbs light well and the reflections aren't too distracting. You won't have many issues using it in a bright room because of this and its high peak brightness. Now, let's look at the text clarity. Text clarity is impacted by a few factors like the resolution, pixel density, and the type of coding the screen uses. Thanks to the 4K resolution and 27 inch screen, the pixel density is very high and the text clarity is remarkable. Letters look sharp and legible, and it's not even necessary to use Windows clear type unless you want to. The matte screen finish introduces some haziness, but it doesn't have a big impact on text clarity. Good viewing angles are important to ensure details at the far sides of the screen don't look washed out. Like most IPS panel monitors, the S2722QC has wide viewing angles. This means that the image retains accurate when viewing from the sides, so the monitor is a great choice if you need to share the screen with someone sitting next to you. An overall uniform screen brightness and color is important during regular desktop use to avoid distracting areas that are overly dark or bright. This does vary between units, but it's rarely an issue on monitors. The S2722QC has impressive gray uniformity. The edges of the screen are a bit darker, but it's not that bad and there's no dirty screen effect in the center. Looking at the black uniformity, it's decent. There isn't any blooming around the center cross, which is good, but there's some clouding throughout. Because it has a low contrast ratio, blacks look bluish gray, and it doesn't have a local dimming feature to improve it. Keep in mind that black uniformity can vary between units. Accuracy in the standard sRGB color space is important as it's the standard for computer use. The S2722QC has decent accuracy before calibration. The color temperature is close to our target, so colors don't look too warm or cold. The white balance is also only slightly off, but while the overall color accuracy is decent, some colors are oversaturated. 
It doesn't have an sRGB mode to lock them to the sRGB color space either. Also, the gamma doesn't follow the target curve very well, as some scenes are over-brightened or too dark. Overall, while it's decent enough for most people, it's not ideal for photo editors. Keep in mind that the out-of-the-box color accuracy can vary between units. If you want to take full advantage of this monitor and display vivid colors in things like high dynamic range or HDR, then it's important to have a good color gamut and color volume. The S2722QC has an amazing SDR color gamut. It has perfect coverage of the sRGB color space used in most web content, but its Adobe RGB coverage is limited for photo editors. The color volume is also fantastic, thanks to its high peak brightness, so it displays bright colors well, but it struggles with dark colors due to the low contrast. As for HDR, it displays a wide color gamut with a great DCI-P3 coverage, but it's limited in the wider Rec 2020 color space. The HDR color volume is also mediocre, so colors in HDR aren't as vivid as they should be. A high refresh rate is important if you also want to use it for gaming. It allows the image to be drawn on the screen faster, which makes it more responsive. If the monitor supports variable refresh rates, then you can get a smooth experience without tearing, regardless of the changing frame rate. The S2722QC has a basic 60Hz refresh rate. You can get a higher 75Hz refresh rate if you lower the resolution, but that defeats the purpose of having a 4K monitor. It supports FreeSync VRR to reduce screen tearing, and we confirmed that it's also G-Sync compatible with the USB-C input. Gamers will find this disappointing, but this monitor is designed for office use anyways. When playing video games or scrolling through long pages, a fast response time is important for the clearest image without distracting blur. The S2722QC has a great response time, and you'll notice minimal motion blur while scrolling through long web pages. There are three overdrive settings, and we recommend leaving it on the normal setting. The other two have too much overshoot, resulting in ghosting. Because the max refresh rate is 60Hz, our results for the response time at the max refresh rate are the same at 60Hz. Now, a low input lag is really important for a responsive feel when doing everyday tasks, and like any monitor, it has low input lag for a responsive feel. Obviously, it's not as low as dedicated gaming monitors, but it's good enough that you won't notice any delay with your actions. Lastly, let's look at some of the additional features this monitor has. Since it's an office monitor, it has a few office-oriented features. We already mentioned the USB-C input, and there's a USB-C prioritization setting to go along with it. You can set it to high resolution for 4K at 60Hz signals with 10-bit color depth and chroma 444 subsampling for the best image possible, but that requires a lot of bandwidth. If you have a hard drive connected, your file transfer speeds will be slower. However, you can lower the bandwidth with the high data speed setting, which uses faster transfer speeds for the USB ports. This is better if you have to transfer files to and from a hard drive or USB stick, but you're limited at 8-bit color depth. It also has a picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture modes, so you can display images from two sources at once. Lastly, there are built-in speakers if you don't want to buy a dedicated setup, but don't expect the best sound quality from them. So this brings us to the main question, should you buy this monitor? It's definitely one of the best 4K office monitors we've tested, as it has a bunch of features like its USB-C input, good ergonomics, and exceptional text clarity. If you prefer the high pixel density of 4K displays and need something for the office, then this is definitely a great choice for you. It's extremely similar to the Dell S2721QS, as they have most of the same features and likely the same panel. The main difference is, is that the S2722QC has a USB-C input and two USB 3.0 inputs, both of which the S2721QS doesn't have. If you're going to take advantage of the extra inputs, then go with the S2722QC, Otherwise, get whichever you can find cheaper. Of course, you're not getting this monitor if you want to use it for a high frame rate 4K gaming, as it's limited to HDMI 2.0 bandwidth. There are other options available for that, like the Samsung Odyssey G7S28AG70, but you'll have to be willing to spend more if you want the extra gaming features. The S2722QC is also impressive for media creation, thanks to its high resolution, but if your work requires the most accurate colors possible, you should probably check out other options. Something like the Gigabyte M27Q also has a USB-C input, and it has near-perfect coverage of the Adobe RGB color space, but it has a lower 1440p resolution.